So you have an area of the house that needs insulated? Should you hire a professional contractor or do it yourself? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to discuss some guidelines that will help you determine if you should hire a professional contractor or do the project yourself when you're considering insulating an area of the home. Before we get into that too much, please go below, hit that like button for us. So the first thing I want to mention are some things to consider when you're trying to decide if hiring a professional or doing it yourself. The first thing is there's no warranty on your own labor and oftentimes there is no warranty on the materials you're using, especially if you damage or waste them. So keep in mind, you will have to pay for the time and material that it takes to train and teach yourself on how to perform this job. Just some things to keep in mind. Obviously there can be some cost savings involved, but don't forget that you will inevitably burn some material along the way. With that said, let's go over some guidelines to help you determine which route you should go. So the first thing we're going to talk about as far as a guideline for you is some specific areas of the house. Now the rim joist is a very easy area to look at. So that rim joist in the basement, that is typically a good opportunity for you to try to do it yourself. This is an area that you can have a lot of different options as far as material to use to insulate it. There's several options for creating an air seal and all of those options are readily available at any big box hardware store. So this is a good area for you to consider doing it yourself. Also, if you just wanna seal up some penetrations around the envelope of the building, we're talking windows, doors, anything else, somewhere where plumbing may be coming in through siding or something like that. This is another good area for you to consider just using can foam or any other type of sealant to seal off that penetration. Make sure your building envelope is well established. So just some areas to keep in mind if that's what you're looking to get done for your house, may want to consider doing it yourself. If you're having trouble determining, should I try to tackle this myself or should I hire someone to come out and do it? The real key factor is going to be size. Difficulty will come into play, but square footage really is what determines cost effectiveness for buying a kit or a can of foam or something like that versus having a contractor come out with the whole rig and setup. Again, if you're looking at the size of the project and you're not quite sure if it's too big, too small, a general rule of thumb is if the area is 100 square foot or less, you should definitely consider doing it yourself. Anything over that, you know, maybe it's a little bit bigger, maybe it's a little more complicated, should probably consider having a contractor out. That's not to say it could be a much larger area, could still be a good option to do it yourself, but as a general guideline, if what you're looking at is 100 square foot or less, you're probably leaving money on the table if you don't consider doing that yourself. If you want to learn more about hiring a contractor or doing a project yourself, check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to see all of our notifications.